Life doesn't want to waste success on someone who isn't ready. Think about it. Why would life give a fortune to someone who can't handle it responsibly? If an unprepared person gets a lot of money, they'll probably waste it. The people who could have benefited from it won't see any of it, and the great things that could have been achieved won't happen because the money was squandered. So don't just hope for success or wait for promises. Get yourself ready. Ask yourself, what can I do to prepare? Remember, life isn't set up to give us what we want or what we need. Life gives us what we deserve. Everything valuable in life must be earned, and those who put in the effort are the ones who get the rewards. A big part of life is about getting ready and being prepared. When we start first grade in school, it's all about preparing for second grade. Finishing two grades gets us ready for the third. It might seem like a long, tough journey, but eventually we'll be able to perform at the level we want. Preparation takes time, and the choices we make during this time shape our future. You can't be as powerful now as you could be next year. Just like you can't jump from fifth grade to 10th grade, you have to go through each step. The more prepared you are, when you finally reach the 10th grade, you'll be able to make the most of it. You'll get two, three, or even five times more value out of it because you were ready. Getting ready for a good day means planning ahead. This might mean putting things together the night before or even a few days in advance. When you prepare for a meeting, it shows you're serious about it. When you're ready for a workshop, it means you're committed to making the best contribution you can. This kind of preparation is really important, but there's an even more important kind of preparation, getting yourself ready for success. This means understanding that those who give also receive. You don't have to just think about what you'll get. Becoming a good giver is just as important. And those who search will find. If you want good ideas, go after them. Look for them in classes, workshops, training sessions, books, journals, anywhere good ideas are shared. Get yourself ready to handle fortune, challenges, and opportunities. Opportunities come and go, and if you're not prepared, they will pass you by. Use this year to prepare for the next. Don't just aim to be effective. Aim to continually improve. Think about how your ideas can become more powerful, sharper, and clearer. Consider how you can reach people next year that you might not reach this year. Dive deep into your own soul so you can truly impact others. Some people might say you gave a good speech, but strive to make it stronger, deeper, and more powerful. So preparing for success isn't just about setting goals and making plans. It's about becoming the kind of person who is ready to seize opportunities, handle challenges, and give generously. By doing this, you'll not only achieve success, but also make a meaningful impact on the world around you. Next on my list to help you become a powerful force is understanding the impact of having a purpose. When someone has a purpose in their life, they have a goal, something to aim for, and a sense of meaning. For some, this purpose becomes a grand obsession, as one writer put it. It doesn't have to be that intense for you and me, but it does need to be something significant, something that pulls at us, especially guiding us into the future. Many things shape our lives, and one of them is the influence of the past. Some people are constantly pulled backward by their history. Others get distracted by various things, but having a list of important purposes in your life creates a pull toward the future. The stronger the purpose, the stronger the pull. Another big benefit of having a purpose for the future is that it helps you push through challenges and difficulties. Without strong purposes, it's easy to be overwhelmed by a bad day, almost crushed by a tough month, or even feel like you're drowning in a difficult year. Having something to strive for beyond the immediate time frame is crucial. It should be something that pulls you beyond today, beyond next week, beyond next month, and beyond this year. So having a purpose isn't just about having goals. It's about having something that keeps you moving forward, no matter what obstacles you face. It's about having a reason to get up in the morning and a reason to keep going when times are tough. This purpose will help you navigate through life's challenges and keep you focused on the future, making you a more potent and resilient force in your own life. If you want something that can help you get through tough times, challenges, and unexpected situations, you need a clear vision for your future. The clearer and stronger this vision is, the more it will influence your life, your spirit, heart, and soul. A strong vision sparks your imagination and gets your mind working on plans and strategies to achieve your goals. When your mind, heart, and spirit are all engaged and you are feeding them with good ideas and valuable input, there's almost nothing you can't achieve. This power of having a purpose is a key factor that can transform you into a powerful force shaping the direction of your life. It gives you a reason to keep pushing forward, even when things get tough. It helps you stay focused and motivated and it keeps you moving toward your goals. Think about what you really want in life. 
What are your dreams and aspirations? Create a clear and compelling vision of that future. This vision will guide you through the difficult times and help you overcome obstacles. It will keep you motivated and inspired, and it will help you stay on track, even when things don't go as planned. Having a vision for your future is not just about setting goals. It's about having something that deeply matters to you, something that pulls you forward and keeps you moving in the right direction. This vision will help you navigate through life's challenges and stay focused on what truly matters to you. By having a clear and strong vision, you can become a potent force in shaping your own life and achieving your dreams. Next, let's dive into another important part of personal development, the idea of character. This is about becoming a person with high values, strong principles, and a deep commitment to honesty. Building a solid and admirable character means striving to be someone who earns respect through their actions and integrity. Character isn't just about how others see you, it's about an inner quality that you carry within yourself. It's about being recognized by others as someone who is truly honest, fair, and always willing to do the right thing. This kind of person is known for being helpful and ready to lend a hand whenever needed. The essence of character lies in consistently doing the right thing and maintaining a balance in your actions. It means walking a straight path without crossing ethical boundaries or compromising your values. This commitment to ethical conduct and principled living is crucial in the ongoing process of developing your character. As you cultivate these qualities within yourself, you shape your identity and influence how others see you. Developing character is a dynamic process that involves self-reflection, conscious decision-making, and a true commitment to living by the values you believe in. In the bigger picture of personal growth, character weaves a story of integrity, respect, and a steadfast dedication to doing what is right. Building character takes time and effort. It's about making choices that reflect your principles, even when it's difficult. It's about being reliable and trustworthy and being someone others can count on. When you live with integrity, you build a reputation that speaks volumes about who you are. In your journey of personal growth, always remember that character is the foundation. It's the thread that holds everything together. By nurturing and strengthening your character, you not only become a better person, but you also set an example for others. Your character defines you, and it is the most valuable asset you can possess. Next, let's explore another vital aspect of personal development, self-discipline. Self-discipline is a challenge many of us face because it's often tempting to relax, especially when we're putting in a lot of effort and doing our best. However, developing self-discipline is essential for achieving lasting success and personal growth. Think about the value of committing to doing the best job possible, even though as humans, we make mistakes. The key is not to avoid mistakes entirely, but to see them as opportunities to learn and to actively work on fixing them. This kind of self-discipline is based on understanding the importance of your role within the larger context of a task or project. Each person's contribution is crucial, much like the parts of a well-oiled machine. Every part is necessary for the successful completion of a project. For instance, imagine a broadcast where every role, no matter how small, is indispensable. It's like putting together a puzzle, every piece matters, and missing even a few pieces can lead to failure. But when all the parts work together smoothly, the result is seamless and effective. The essence of self-discipline lies in recognizing that the success of any team effort depends on each individual committing to their role and performing it diligently. This collective commitment to excellence, discipline, and personal responsibility elevates the team's synergy, making the whole greater than the sum of its parts. Understanding the transformative power of self-discipline is crucial. It's more than just following rules. It's about adopting a mindset of continuous improvement, accountability, and dedication to contributing your best to the group's success. Embracing self-discipline as a guiding principle in our journey of personal and collaborative growth is essential. It is the cornerstone of achieving excellence in every endeavor we undertake. Self-discipline involves setting goals and sticking to them, even when it's hard. It means pushing yourself to do the right thing, even when it's easier to do otherwise. It's about staying focused and not giving up when challenges arise. By practicing self-discipline, you build habits that lead to success and personal growth. In your daily life, find ways to practice self-discipline. Set small, achievable goals and work towards them consistently. Hold yourself accountable for your actions and decisions. Over time, these small steps will build up, leading to significant improvements in your personal and professional life. Remember, self-discipline is not about being perfect. It's about making progress, learning from mistakes, and continually striving to be better. 
By embracing self-discipline, you lay the foundation for a successful and fulfilling life, both individually and as part of a team. Next, let's dive into the multifaceted concept of self-confidence and explore where it comes from and what influences it. Self-confidence, a quality that many of us want to have, isn't something that just comes and goes. It's built through consistent efforts and paying attention to our daily habits and routines. To truly understand the roots of self-confidence, we need to recognize the importance of small, daily disciplines. One of the best pieces of advice is not to overlook these seemingly minor tasks. These daily routines play a big role in building self-confidence. It's about feeling good about yourself, and one of the best ways to achieve this is by making sure that at the end of each day, you can look back and be proud of what you did. Whether it's conducting a meeting, making a phone call, or writing a letter, the key is to give your absolute best. When you consistently pour your best efforts into your daily tasks, these days add up and become the foundation of your self-confidence. Self-confidence is deeply connected to the belief that you can produce positive results. When you can reflect on a day well spent and recognize your capabilities, the seeds of self-confidence begin to grow. This positive reinforcement creates a ripple effect, making you believe that if you can have one good day, you can have more good days in the future. As these good days accumulate, they turn into weeks, months, and eventually a year of growth and achievement. A crucial part of self-confidence is being willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. It's not about just dipping your toes in. It's about diving in with full commitment. Those who only commit half-heartedly, trying a few things here and there without real dedication, rarely see significant growth. But those who are willing to go the extra mile learning, adapting, seeking advice from experts, and persevering through challenges find that self-confidence becomes a natural outcome. Moreover, self-confidence is strengthened by the ability to rise above both minor and major challenges. It's about navigating through difficulties without getting discouraged. This resilience, the determination to overcome obstacles that might stop others, lays the groundwork for strong self-confidence that can withstand any storm. Not neglecting the small daily disciplines is a fundamental principle in building self-confidence. This means paying attention to all aspects of your life, whether it's your health, work, or personal development. A holistic approach to well-being, like maintaining good health through routines such as eating nutritious foods, walking, or jogging, contributes to the overall growth of self-confidence. The interconnectedness of physical well-being, positive self-reflection, and consistent effort helps foster a self-confidence that shines through in every part of your life. Next, let's delve into the powerful concept of self-reliance, a quality that can transform your life. Self-reliance means primarily depending on yourself. While it would be nice if everything around us always worked perfectly, if everyone did their jobs exactly as expected, that's not always how life goes. In the complex fabric of life, self-reliance is a vital thread. Imagine a world where everything you need is provided effortlessly, where others flawlessly complete every task. While that sounds ideal, the essence of self-reliance is understanding that ultimately you are responsible for yourself. It means thinking, I am the one in charge and I will learn what I need to know, not just for my own benefit, but also to help others improve their skills. Think about a leader building an organization. While it's important to have a capable team, the leader must be the final fallback the person others can depend on. In the dance of responsibilities, self-reliance positions you as the ultimate safeguard. If tasks are missed or gaps appear, the self-reliant person steps in, catching up and making sure everything gets done. This principle isn't limited to organizational leadership. It applies to all areas of life. Whether you're running meetings, providing training, or attending classes, self-reliance is key. Those who embrace self-reliance become invaluable they fill in gaps, clear up confusion, and ensure the group effort is smooth and successful. Self-reliance is about learning to count on yourself first. It's more than just being competent. It's about having a mindset that thrives on personal responsibility. When you adopt this approach, you're not just able to handle challenges you excel. Self-reliance means stepping into any situation with the confidence that says, I can do this. I can fill the gap, solve the problems, and get the job done. A crucial part of self-reliance is the commitment to never complain and never explain. This reflects a resilience and determination to face challenges head on without getting bogged down by grievances or justifications. The self-reliant person sees challenges as chances to grow, understanding that personal responsibility is the key to overcoming obstacles. Self-reliance is not just a skill. It's a mindset and a philosophy that shapes how you approach life. It's about continuous learning, personal growth, and being the foundation that others can rely on. 
As we navigate life's complexities, self-reliance stands out as a powerful force, guiding us to be not only capable individuals, but also resilient leaders who inspire and support those around us. Developing self-reliance involves setting clear goals and working steadily towards them, always ready to step in when needed. It means being proactive and prepared, always learning and improving. By doing this, you build a strong sense of confidence and capability. As you cultivate self-reliance, you'll notice a significant change in how you handle situations. You become more resourceful, more resilient, and more dependable. This quality not only enhances your personal life, but also boosts your professional interactions, making you a key player in any team. In your journey to becoming self-reliant, remember that it's about progress, not perfection. Every step you take towards being more self-reliant strengthens your ability to handle whatever life throws your way. Embrace this quality and you will find yourself becoming a stronger, more capable and more inspiring individual ready to lead and uplift others. Next, let's explore the profound concept of expertise. A crucial element on the journey to becoming a powerful force in life. The pursuit of excellence in all skills becomes a guiding principle, ensuring nothing less than outstanding performance in every endeavor. To embark on the path of expertise is to have a deep desire to excel an unwavering commitment to be the best in your field. This means demanding excellence from yourself in every aspect of skill development, leaving no room for mediocrity. The goal is clear, to be the absolute best you can possibly be. Consider the realm of training, whether it's improving technical skills, mastering communication, or perfecting the art of influence. The commitment to excellence must remain strong. In every training session, the aim is not just to meet standards, but to exceed them pushing boundaries to deliver the best possible performance. The same standard applies when conducting workshops. The goal is not just to deliver a workshop, but to deliver the best workshop possible. This involves continuous improvement, refining skills, and embracing the mindset that each workshop is an opportunity to push the limits of what you can achieve. Expertise in its holistic sense goes beyond technical proficiency. It encompasses the mastery of various skills, including the art of using your personality effectively. Developing this skill involves understanding how to leverage personal traits, strengths, and charisma to leave a lasting impact. Language as a skill is another important aspect of expertise. Mastery of language is not just about communication. It's about using language as a powerful tool for influence, persuasion, and effective expression. A commitment to excellence in language empowers individuals to articulate ideas with precision, impact, and clarity. Furthermore, expertise extends to the skill of influence. This involves understanding the dynamics of human interaction, mastering the art of persuasion, and cultivating the ability to inspire and motivate others. The expert in influence is not just competent, but excels in guiding and influencing people towards positive outcomes. Organizational skills are also part of expertise. Being able to organize tasks, resources, and teams efficiently is not just a functional skill, but a vital aspect of becoming a powerful force. An expert in organization is someone who can navigate complexity, streamline processes, and ensure efficiency in every undertaking. Expertise opens the door to opportunities and a chance to make a significant impact. By committing to excellence in all skills, individuals position themselves as valuable assets capable of making meaningful contributions in any setting. The journey toward expertise is not just about becoming proficient. It is an ongoing commitment to relentless improvement and mastering the multifaceted skills that collectively define excellence. Expertise becomes a driving force that propels individuals towards success and positions them as leaders in their respective fields. It requires dedication, perseverance, and a continuous desire to learn and grow. Every step taken towards expertise enhances your abilities and broadens your horizons, making you a powerful variable in any scenario. Therefore, let's embrace the pursuit of expertise with passion and determination. Let's commit to excellence in every skill we develop, understanding that this commitment not only shapes our own success, but also inspires and uplifts those around us. Through expertise, we become more than just skilled individuals. We become influential leaders and powerful contributors to the world. Next, let's talk about the power of image. Your image is a combination of several aspects, including how others see you, the impression you create with people, and most importantly, how you see yourself. The way you present yourself to the world plays a big role in how you interact with others. If people don't see you as a leader, they are less likely to pay attention to you. If your image lacks a sense of control and authority, it becomes difficult to build trust. When people perceive that you know where you're going and have a clear vision, they are more likely to follow you. 
A strong external image, one that shows you're in charge and confident, not only wins people over, but also attracts them. People are naturally drawn to those who radiate confidence and authority. This well-crafted external image helps in establishing positive relationships and gaining support. But there's another important part of your image, how you see yourself. The way you dress, talk, think, and learn all contribute to your self-image. This internal image is a key factor in your confidence and self-reliance. Think about how you dress. It's not just about fashion, but about how you view yourself. When you dress in a way that aligns with your self-image, it reinforces the idea that you are striving to be your best self. Similarly, the way you speak and express yourself shows your internal image. A positive self-image allows you to communicate effectively, while a negative self-image can make it hard to convey your thoughts clearly and with conviction. Your ability to learn is also a part of your self-image. Believing that you can acquire new skills, master complex topics, and adapt to new challenges helps you maintain a positive self-image. This belief encourages you to engage proactively with learning opportunities, reinforcing the idea that you can always improve and grow. The most important aspect of your image, however, is how you see yourself when you look in the mirror. While how others see you matters, your internal self-image is of utmost importance. Developing a positive self-image means consistently striving to be the best version of yourself and recognizing that personal growth is a continuous journey. As you work on personal development, it's important to look to the future, reflect on the past, and observe the world around you. However, looking into the mirror and seeing how you appear to yourself holds unique significance. This act of introspection shapes your self-confidence and self-reliance. The power of image, both external and internal, is transformative. It influences how others see you and shapes your own beliefs, attitudes, and actions. By consciously cultivating a positive and empowering image, both in the eyes of others and in your self-perception, you build a strong foundation for personal and professional success. The next thing on my list is enthusiasm. It's a key part of our journey to becoming a powerful force. Real enthusiasm, when shown genuinely, can captivate and influence others deeply. It's not just about being loud or energetic. True enthusiasm comes from deep within, fueled by self-confidence, purpose, and a real desire to help others. Think of enthusiasm like an iceberg. What you see on the surface is just a small part. When someone shows enthusiasm, only about 10% is visible. The other 90% is inside them, driving their actions and motivations. What makes impactful enthusiasm special is where it comes from. It starts with self-confidence, a strong belief in one's abilities and the conviction that they can succeed. This quiet confidence underlies the outward expression of enthusiasm, pushing individuals to strive for excellence. Moreover, having a purpose is crucial in shaping true enthusiasm. When enthusiasm is rooted in a commitment to a higher goal, it becomes a powerful force for positive change. Knowing that the work is meaningful and aligned with a bigger purpose deepens the sincerity of one's enthusiasm. The best kind of enthusiasm isn't just about personal success. It's about genuinely wanting to help others. The desire to make a positive impact and to see others succeed adds authenticity to one's enthusiasm, which resonates with those around them. This deep enthusiasm goes beyond the loud and showy displays we might think of. It thrives in quiet moments, in unseen efforts, and in dedication to getting the job done. The recognition and praise that come are not just for outward displays, but for the genuine passion that drives consistent, high-quality work. In short, the quiet enthusiasm that runs deep truly motivates individuals to do their best. It's a silent force driving excellence, commitment, and a real desire to positively impact others. People recognize and appreciate this kind of enthusiasm as genuine, understanding that what they see is just a glimpse of the passion that makes someone consistently deliver their best. As we aim to become a powerful force, embracing and nurturing this deep enthusiasm is key to influencing and inspiring those around us. The last key element in our journey to becoming a powerful force is extraordinary performance. The strength of extraordinary performance lies in the unwavering commitment to demand excellent results from oneself. This commitment is crucial for anyone aiming for an extraordinary life income or success. Living an extraordinary life means doing extraordinary things. It requires going above and beyond the ordinary and accepting the challenges that come with achieving extraordinary outcomes. Whether it's financial success, personal fulfillment, or any other goal, the path to greatness involves setting high standards for oneself. If you want an extraordinary income, you must engage in extraordinary actions. The results you achieve are directly linked to the demands you place on yourself. Merely aspiring for a great fortune is not enough. 
Your efforts must match the high demands required to reach such a level of success. The key is self-imposed demand. While outside forces might not require certain actions or achievements, you must insist on them for yourself. Inspirational messages and shared experiences can give you a glimpse of what it's like to make a fortune. But the true catalyst for success lies in demanding excellence from oneself. Think of health as an example. Society does not mandate avoiding a heart attack, but if you want to avoid one, you must demand heart health of yourself. Jogging around the block every morning is not a societal requirement for good health, but if you want wellness, the demand for regular exercise comes from within. Similarly, society does not mandate a certain intellectual standard, but if you want to improve your intelligence and knowledge by reading books regularly, that demand arises from your own commitment to personal growth. Building a financial wall around your family to secure their future is not a societal obligation, but if that is your goal, you must impose this demand upon yourself. Society may not enforce the acquisition of specific skills to ensure personal and family success. However, if you seek these benefits, the demand for skill development must come from within. Demanding excellence and commitment from oneself in the pursuit of extraordinary results is the difference between those who merely aspire and those who truly achieve. Therefore, as we journey towards becoming a powerful force, recognizing the power of extraordinary performance and embracing the demands it entails becomes essential. It is a conscious choice to set high standards for oneself, demanding excellence in every endeavor to create an extraordinary life and legacy.